guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today we're going to talk briefly about the triggers in House Call Pro, which cause invoices to go over into QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online. These triggers are the exact same thing no matter whether you're using QuickBooks Desktop or QuickBooks Online, but bear in mind with QuickBooks Desktop, you have to manually sync the system, whereas with QuickBooks Online, this generally happens automatically unless there is an error that occurs and you are warned of. So the triggers are fairly simple. Whenever you're on any invoice, the minute that you hit finish, that's going to be the first time that an invoice goes over into QuickBooks or is triggered to go over into QuickBooks. Now this doesn't mean that this is the final invoice because you could have text that finished the job out in the field, but then the office has to review the invoice before it's sent to the customer. So the text can finish it. We now know that this money is due and then the office can come back and review it. They can make changes on product names, descriptions, quantities, prices, anything on here and make any of these changes that they need to before they hit invoice and physically send that invoice to the customer. When they go ahead and send that invoice to the customer, it's going to resync this invoice with QuickBooks Online, which is great. Any of those changes that the office needs to make before the job is sent to the customer now gets resynced. New products and services, removing products and services, changing descriptions, changing prices or quantities, anything like that all gets resynced by hitting this invoice button. Finally, let's say the customer calls back and complains about something and you give them a discount um, or calls back and needs more work done. So you add some more things on to this job before they actually pay it. Once they pay, it'll resync this invoice again to QuickBooks and make modifications once again along with going ahead and pushing over the payment into QuickBooks to record the fact that it is paid and how it was paid. So there's three different times that the invoice will get pushed over and once that the payment will get pushed over. So very easy to get things to go over. Now every once in a while, let's say that your QuickBooks becomes disconnected from House Call Pro because that can happen. Or you have errors and you don't know why it's not wanting to go over. Um, or you did a job before you had QuickBooks connected. These aren't per se going to do anything here. You will have to scroll down here to the bottom and on the bottom of any invoice for any House Call Pro account that is connected to QuickBooks, you'll always have this little box, which will show you whether it's been pushed over to QuickBooks, whether there's any payments that have gone over to QuickBooks, but you also have these three dots right over here in the top right corner. By clicking these three dots, you can go ahead and push that invoice or payment into QuickBooks. So let's say that you updated this and you need it to update in QuickBooks after all three of these were hit and you wanna guarantee that. Well, great, just scroll on down here, hit this push invoice payment to QBO and it will go ahead and push over there for you without an issue or you forgot to, or you didn't have QuickBooks connected or anything like that. That's what these three dots are for, is to help you correct that if anything ever goes wrong. And if something isn't wanting to push over, you can also read about the errors here to correct it. As always guys, if you have more questions, concerns, anything like that, please feel free to give us a call at 864 three five one zero eight five two or shoot us an email and we would be happy to work with you there have a wonderful rest of your day